welcome back to the Natalia J. Mag Show. Woo woo! Okay, so here today we are reporting from my new home. And I decided to film this video here because there is awesome lighting in this sunroom. So, um, yeah, let's get started. So today we're going to talk about the cocktail dress challenge and the urban jungle challenge. Um, just to give a little refresher, for the cocktail dress challenge, we were brought to the Absolute Elix house, which is, um, like a bar, um, but like a really swanky bar. It's really pretty. This place is amazing. It was very inspiring. It's so beautiful. And for this challenge, we were supposed to be inspired by the location and then create a cocktail dress, um, inspired by, um, the Absolute Elix house. So, um, as... Most of you may know, I was in the bottom for this challenge and I almost went home. Dun, dun, dun! Oh my God, it was so scary being in the bottom because honestly, like, I was in the bottom before, but I never felt so, like, unconfident. I don't even think that's a word, but I never felt so, like, bad about my look because I knew that it was, like, terrible because um, I made it in, like, three hours, three and a half hours, and I sewed everything by hand, including darts. Um, I did sew the under part, the bustier and the skirt. Um, I sewed it on the sewing machine, but almost everything else was sewn by hand. So it was like really overwhelming, and I literally felt like it was like a fight against the clock. It was like, ugh. Literally, every time I looked at the clock, there was like another hour had gone by and I, I still had like a bazillion so much work to do and it was like, oh my god, it was very, very stressful. The reason why I picked that fabric, it's because like literally, I called this fabric the mermaid fabric because it reminds me of a mermaid but it also hypnotized me like a mermaid and it was like Natalia buy me every time I went into mood but I never like ha had a chance to use it because we never had like such a fancy um challenge for me to use a beaded fabric and I you know what I played myself because I was very close-minded about the um about the the fabric I could have been more open-minded and been like um use something else but like when I was designing that was the fabric that was in my mind and I, I didn't give myself a chance to think of something else and like honestly I could have thought of something way better like I've I've designed cocktail dresses before and like I love using lace and I could have done like a really cute lace dress but like you know besides the point the past is the past everything happens for a reason and I'm glad I was safe but um but yeah that's that's basically why I chose that fabric because it literally Really hypnotized me and it was like oh my god Natalia buy me and I was like oh my god um this is the only fabric at mood I'm just gonna buy this shit I fucked up really bad but I'm glad that you know my favorite judge Zach Posen liked my um look so when he said he liked it I was like oh I'm safe but then when when it was like came to the you know the final and like and like uh, Heidi's like Natalia I swear to God, she was going to be like, you are out. But she was like, you are in. And I was like, oh my God, saved by the bell. I'm also really happy that my girl Emily Rorakowski liked it. I love this girl. She's beautiful. She's awesome. I love her I don't give a fuck attitude. And she's just hot as fuck. So, you know, the fact that she liked my look, I was just like, um, don't care what Heidi and Nina think. My favorite Judge Sack and one of my favorite models, Emily, likes it. And that's all that matters. So, in the end, even though it was, like, sh like, shabby and, like, poorly made, I had a really good idea behind it. And, like, honestly, if I obviously had more time, it would have came out way better and, like, I probably would have been on the top because my look was one of the more innovative looks out of the ones in the runway. You know, I tried to p play with the silhouette, make it a little different, but, you know... I'm not for everyone, not everything I make, everyone's gonna like, and it is what it is, I was in the bottom. So I also wanted to make this video um, 
talk about these two challenges together in the same video because you know in the cocktail dress challenge I was in the bottom but the urban jungle challenge I was in the top and I think this opens up like a really good conversation that I would love to have with people and like just have in this in this vlog is the fact that whether people praise you or they put you down you shouldn't let that affect the way you feel about yourself you shouldn't let people's praise and people's hate get to you you know you you should be so that that's just my motto like I don't let people's hate or people's praise make my head big or make me feel small so that's why I wanted to make this vlog about you know the time I was in the bottom and the time I was in the top because I wanted to shed light on the fact that um, whether people are praising you or people are putting you down it doesn't matter you should be happy with yourself you should love yourself and what you do whether people are praising you or not because you know there's always going to be people that are going to like what you do and there's always going to be people that are going to hate it and you just kind of need to separate yourself from that and just be yourself and do you and like not worry about what other people think whether they're loving it or hating it what matters is that you're doing what you're meant to do and you're loving what you're doing and if you love it that's all that matters in the end the only person that matters is you your opinion is the only one that matters so for me being in the bottom was like I didn't like think less of myself because because I was in the bottom I was just like okay now I need to try harder and I tried really hard in the urban jungle uh, challenge and I ended up being runner-up for the for the win um, and it was pretty awesome so uh, for the urban jungle challenge uh, they brought us to Orlando, Florida to ride the, the new King Kong ride, the Ring of Kong. And it was so cool. It was like, um, like kind of like a movie, but you're in this car and there's all these things coming at you. And then there's King Kong and he's like big and massive and just like, and it's just like really cool. So that ride was very inspiring. So this, this, um, this ride inspired me to create a dolman sleeve jacket because of the bat. So, so I didn't come up with the dolman sleeve, but I do have my own take on it, and it's really oversized. and And I was inspired by bats, actually, even before I went on this ride. Um, when I designed my first dolman sleeve sweater, it was inspired by bat wings because they're, you know, they're they're open and they're I don't know. Bats are just really cute and inspiring. And so when I saw these big oversized bats. The first thing that came to my mind, I was like, oh my god, I can create like an oversized dolman sleeve jacket. And you know, it can be really urban if done right. So I decided to take uh, a more subtle color scheme. And so I chose to use olive and some tans, which were definitely inspired by the ride. Um, it's funny because I feel like as a designer, I have these two really distinct sides. Like I'm like, have this really, really colorful, bright, neon, crazy side. And then I have this really like straight, clean cut, like light colors and um, neutral colors, earthy color side. So I feel like throughout the competition, you guys have been able to see that with all the stuff that I've done so far. So this is my more like clean cut, neutral color side of a designer. Um, I'm really happy that other people enjoy it. I'm, I was really glad that the judges loved it, um, that Sack liked it, even Nina, even Heidi liked it. So I was like, oh my God. And like when Heidi said, I want to be that girl. I'm just like, oh my God, Heidi, you're the fucking shit. And I was so happy when Rebecca Minkoff was like, oh, it's amazing. I love it. And when Carly was like, if I saw this on a window display, I would totally want to buy it. It was just like really reassuring and it made me really happy. Like, I wasn't like, oh my God, like, you know, big head, but I was like, this is so cool like you know they all love it they are uh, like half of them are saying they want to wear it it just made me feel like really really accomplished and I was just like oh my god like it was just awesome um and like I also really admire Rebecca Minkoff as a designer so to have her approval was just like really like flattering and just super cool I was just like oh my god I just wanted to be like I love you Rebecca Minkoff 
love and I wanted to say I grow a little bit but then I was like no I gotta get it to keep it together and just say thank you and not be crazy but um yeah I was I was really really happy that all the judges loved it and that I was the runner-up um for the for the win like it would have been awesome to win but regardless like I was on top and that's already winning so it was just really cool I have to say this far obviously the Urban Young Girl challenge was my favorite but I'm like not sure I love the Urban Young Girl challenge but I also really like the black light challenge I wasn't on the top for that one but I feel like that's my crazy colorful side and then I have the side of the Urban Jungle, jungle challenge um honestly I didn't think I was gonna be on the top I thought I was gonna be saved because I felt like I wasn't sure if the judges were gonna get it and like Oh, if they were gonna be like it's too oversized so I'm glad that they got it and I'm happy I was on the top but like I said before being on the top didn't make my head bigger and being on the bottom didn't make me feel small I was just like you know rolling with it and yeah urban jungle challenge was dope it was litty I loved it um, I loved my design it's it's awesome I love my design and I'm gonna have some similar jackets up for sale on my website I'm really happy that my design is doing well on eBay. I, I currently have, I think, about 30 bids and it's going for $350. So it's really cool because all that money is going to the Robin, Robin Hood Foundation. And so I'm happy that I can contribute in a good way. Please stay tuned for more vlogs and other videos. I think I'm going to start doing like other cool stuff. Like, I don't know. If you have an idea for a video you'd want me to do, definitely leave... Um, comments below and as to what you would want me to do and um yeah stay tuned for more videos make sure you subscribe to my youtube channel make sure you like my facebook page make sure you follow me on instagram and twitter and snapchat and just stay tuned for more natalia j mag show thanks for watching Bum 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 bum